First off, Dashiana, congratulations on the success recently and the hammer and graduation as well. Take me back to commencement weekend. What was that like for you and your family? It was it was great. It was a little rainy, as you probably know, um, but it was a memorable moment. Um, got that far, walked down um, on stage and completed it, completed the degree. Getting that degree and finally reaching that goal as a college graduate. Uh, for those of us that have been able to do it, it's a big milestone. And for you and your family, how'd you celebrate once the commencement was over? It was a long day, so we took naps. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we took naps, yeah. but um, family and friends, you know, just like had a little grab party and everything. So it was pretty nice. Throw in the mix also, you're going to Eugene. Last time we talked to you, that was one of your goals here at Liberty. You were able to reach it last weekend at Tampa. Take me through that weekend. Uh, what was it like? Nerves, excitement, all that stuff as you qualified for the NCAA championship? Well, the first couple of days, I wasn't really thinking about competition. I was just like, okay, I'm going to be there. I'm going to focus on um, who's competing first, um, just relaxing, um, getting my mind right. And then um, competition day rolls around. Um, the day before, I'm getting a little bit nervous, butterflies and everything. Um, but when I was like getting ready to throw, um, we all, I feel like the throwers are a great group of people. Mm -hmm. And so that kind of helps knowing that all the girls I compete with, they're, we're all there for each other. Um, but going into the throw, I was pretty, I was pretty nervous. Um, but yeah. <laughs> so as you go through that, some people think nerves can be a bad thing, but that also can lend itself to, okay, we, we can do this. I don't think anything that we do, if you don't get a little bit nervous, then we probably shouldn't be doing it to start with. So how do you channel that nervousness into positivity before you throw? Mm, how do I? Um, I normally, I honestly just think about like all the people that have brought me this far and like helped me come this far. Cause like I obviously couldn't have like done it without people's like cheering me on, constant cheering. Um, couldn't have gotten it with God, without God alone. Um, it's, I honestly just think back on that because like, I wouldn't be here with, without the people God placed in my life. So, There's a couple of others that have come before you that have made it to the NCAA championships. Uh, do you lean on uh, Coach Tolzma, the coaches, some of those other ladies that have made it before you? How do you gain as much knowledge before you head to Eugene as you need to compete? I do a lot of asking around. I just, um, I've talked to um, some people, yeah, I just do a lot of asking around, if that makes sense. So what do you ask them when you chat with these people about getting knowledge in and about their experiences? Um, I ask them what it, obviously, like what it is like, because um, I've never competed at that kind of a type of level before. And you're going out there with some teammates, so it's not just you. So there's a, a number of other Liberty athletes, track and field, that are going as well. Uh, how much does that kind of ease the, the nervousness or uh, the, the, the tension maybe as if it was just you and a coach going out there? Some other teammates as well, so does that help at all? I feel like I feel like it would be, like help a whole bunch. Um, yeah. I mean, not knowing, but I feel like it will because I can talk to them. Um, I can have a, like a athlete to athlete conversation and stuff. Um, but what is that moment like, Dashana, when you get the word or you see the results? Wow, I did it to qualify. Take me back last week, and what, what, what is that moment like? Can you savor it? Do you bottle it up? I know it's something you'll never forget. So take us into that emotion when you found out you did qualify. Well, I completed the throw, and I was like, oh, it felt like kind of like my regular throws. Um, and then I was just, like, waiting, and I was like, oh, like my stomach was starting to feel some type of way. But yeah. I looked at the score or the board and saw it was, uh, it was a – pretty decent throw so that kind of like eased my mind and I was like okay now I can take it from there I can I can go all out and be okay or whatever yeah. but a couple of days removed from that event down in Tampa what are you doing now to prepare not for this weekend but next weekend when you head out there I am doing a lot of mental preparation because that's one of my big faults like I get in my head a lot um if it's like with nerves or just like th overthinking too much. So just trying to keep my mind calm, look at some videos, not overdoing it, just doing what I've been doing, um, not doing overdoing it. So, How about when you do throw, whether you're first, middle of the pack, at the end, 
when you do throw, are, are you thinking, okay, I got to get this distance, or I just need to stay in my routine and let God's will or what have you take care of the throw? Is it too much to think about, okay, what distance do I need, or does that put too much pressure on you? I honestly think about it all. I think about it all, and that's probably really bad, but once I get in the ring, um, I get lost, so I don't know what's happening. I just kind of go out and do it. Um, but if I'm in the back of the pack, like, I know I have to kick it in gear, and it's time to do something. Because I don't, like, my goal is I don't want to come in last, so I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna do whatever it takes to at least try to advance. Do you do, you talked earlier about, I talk to everybody, I get as much knowledge as I can. Are, have you already started researching some of the people you're competing against to see kind of how they've done? And I would think that's normal if you did. Yes, I have. Okay. A lot of the West Coast people I've been checking up on, um, even some of the competition here, because we haven't had like meets with all of them down at the East um, round. But I've been, yeah, I've been, I have tabs open on my computer, tabs open. But yeah. How about for you, final thought here as we wrap this up? any, I don't want to call it a race, what do you call it, a throw day for you? Like if you're competing on that day, it's not a race day, but what, what do throwers call a competing day? What do we call Is it a race day or not? No, we call you're not it, racing. what do we call it? My question is, on a day like that, which you're competing, what superstitions do you have? Okay, I got to do this when I wake up, I got to listen to this music, this is, and if you don't, you kind of feel out of sync. So for you, what's a typical compete day like? I honestly just, I just go about my day regularly. Okay. Like, there's nothing really special that I do. Um, you can, yeah, people do listen to music. Um, they have their special playlists and everything, but it's just, that's not me. I, I just kind of just go about my day, talk to people, say hi. Cool. Do that. Nerves are enough to, 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 to bottle up the day and to make it a little bit nerve wracking. So nothing for Dashiana. You just go about your day and just... Hey, when it's my time to throw, go throw. Appreciate your time. We're pulling for you and the other flames out there in Eugene, Oregon, and we'll be following the process, okay? Thank you so much.